Are carbohydrates the reason you're gaining weight? This is a pretty common question and there is a belief out there that eating too many carbohydrates leads to weight gain because carbs turn into fat. And this isn't quite true. It's a bit more complicated than that. So today I want to explain what actually happens when you eat excessive amounts of carbohydrates and how exactly that can lead to weight gain because it's not as simple as carbs turn into fat. Now there is a lot of anti-carbohydrate information out on the internet at the moment, so I wanna bring a bit of a balanced view to help make sure you're as informed as possible when making decisions about what you eat. So let's go. So do carbohydrates actually turn into fat? Well, when you eat carbohydrates, your body breaks them down into their smallest form, which is usually glucose. And that glucose gets absorbed into your blood. This increases your blood sugar, but what your body does is it releases a hormone called insulin, which you may have heard of before. And insulin helps make sure that glucose can move into your cells, mainly your muscle cells, which use up a lot of glucose. Now, it is important to know that when you eat carbohydrates, there are actually a few pathways that the glucose can go down. The first is that it gets used for energy. And this is actually the main use of carbohydrates when you eat them. You use the glucose from the carbs straight away for energy, wherever it's needed. Now, this could be your brain, your blood cells, essentially any cells in the body that need energy. Now, what I'm trying to say is that it gets used straight away. And the second thing that can happen is the glucose gets turned into glycogen, which is the storage form of glucose. There are two places that glycogen can be made. It's either in the liver or your muscles. The thing is though, there is a maximum limit of how much glycogen you can store in your body. It's about 100 grams in your liver and between 400 to 500 grams in your muscles. Now, the reason there is a limit is because glycogen needs water to store the glucose, which makes it a bulky and large molecule. So there's only so much space in your liver and your muscles. And once you reach these limits, uh, your body will need to do something else with the glucose, which is where our third pathway comes in. The third thing that can happen with glucose is yes, fat conversion. There is a pathway in your body that turns glucose into fat, but this is not actually very common. And of the three pathways that I just described, this is used the least. And only in reality, a small amount of glucose from the carbohydrates you eat goes down this path. Why? Because it's a very inefficient process. In order for your body to turn carbohydrates into fat, it needs to use a lot of energy. And this isn't going to be commonly done because your body likes to do whatever is most energy efficient. If you look on the screen now, these are all the steps that glucose needs to go through to turn into triglycerides, which is what we call the storage form of fat. And all of these steps need energy. So the main situations that your body will start to turn to making glucose into fat is when no more energy is immediately needed and your glycogen stores are also full. In fact, research has found that this pathway where you turn glucose into fat really only kicks in if you're starting to consume over 500 grams of carbohydrates in a day. And 500 grams of carbohydrates looks quite different depending on what you eat. But just as an example, it's about 10 pretty thick slices of bread, which is a relatively large amount of carbohydrate. I'm not saying no one is eating that many carbs. Uh, I just wanted to give you a bit of perspective on how much carbohydrate that is. So I guess the answer is yes, carbohydrates can turn into fat, but this is not the reason that people gain weight when they have high amounts of carbohydrates. So what is the reason? Well, if you recall, I said that most of the carbohydrates you eat get immediately used up for energy. So if you eat a diet that is high in carbohydrates, those carbohydrates will be used up first for energy. Your body will use whatever carbs it can to fuel you for your day-to-day -day needs, which means that any fat that you do consume in your diet will move right to storage. People don't really eat just purely carbs, right? If you think about an average day of eating, you're having hopefully a mix of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats most likely. So the more carbs you have, your body will prioritize that for energy and then fats for storage. 
and there's a lot of biochemistry involved in this but one thing to know is that carbohydrates lead to more insulin being released and insulin actually encourages fat storage. Your body loves the path of least resistance. Whatever takes the least amount of energy, it's going to do. Storing fat is much easier than turning glucose into fat. So that is what happens most of the time. Now, another thing that insulin does is actually reduce fat burning. So if you're consuming lots of carbohydrates, your body won't even bother trying to break down fat to use it for energy because there's plenty of glucose around. So what I'm trying to say is that carbohydrates don't make you gain weight because they're all turning into fat. They make storage of fats much easier and they reduce the amount of fat that you can burn for energy. So I'm hoping this all makes sense, um, but if you do need anything explained, please, of course, leave a comment. But I'm just trying to put things into perspective for you here. You don't need to be scared of carbohydrates. They have a place and an important role for your body. And if you've watched the channel, I'm not a fan of cutting out entire food groups, but if you reduce the overall amount of carbohydrates that you consume, what you do is force your body to be in a position to use up more fat stores for energy. And this can be quite useful if you are trying to lose weight, especially if you're trying to lose fat. Now, there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, to lose weight, you just need to eat less. And while yes, that is a component of it, the more I learn about nutrition, the more I'm seeing that it is a bit more complicated than that. The balance between carbohydrates, protein, and fat is quite important, and it makes a large impact on how your body deals with the lack of energy that's coming in. So unfortunately, you can't just eat less. You do need to pay attention to how much fat, how much carbohydrates, how much protein you're eating. Now, I've mentioned before that not all carbohydrates are created equal, and the more refined carbohydrates, which are things like sugary drinks, white bread, processed snacks, fast food, those are the things to focus on reducing if you are trying to reduce your carbohydrate intake because they spike your blood sugar and they don't keep you full for long. So they lead to you consuming more and more carbohydrates, which leads to all that fat storage that I have mentioned in this video. It's creating an environment that prioritizes fat storage and an environment that doesn't prioritize using fat for energy. Now, complex carbohydrates, on the other hand, are the carbohydrates that I would recommend. They're your whole grains, your fruits, your vegetables. They have fiber in them, so they keep you full, which means you eat less overall, but they still give you the energy that you need. So if you're trying to go about including carbohydrates in your diet, but you also want to avoid weight gain, go more for those complex carbohydrates. And what you'll probably notice is that you will feel fuller for longer. And these complex carbohydrates also have a lot of other important nutrients as well. So they become good for your overall health because they contain micronutrients, your vitamins and your minerals. I'm hoping you have a better understanding now of how excessive amounts of carbohydrate can lead to weight gain. And that might help you make decisions in tweaking the way that you eat if you need to. One diet that many people look to is the ketogenic diet because that's very much low carbohydrate and can hence push your body to use up more fat. Next video, I will be explaining what the ketogenic diet is all about and whether or not it is effective and who might be able to benefit. So keep an eye out for that one. But if my calculations are correct, Christmas is in a few days after this video goes up. So I hope you all have a great Christmas and New Year period. 2024 has been a really good year for both this channel and myself. I hope it's been equally as good for you. Thank you for watching and engaging with the videos. I do appreciate it. I will see you in 2025. And until then, keep playing the long game. Thank you.